Following the dramatic scenes in Detroit yesterday, the FBI have confirmed that the android known as Marcus was destroyed. Our sources indicate that it was a rare prototype, one that belonged to the famous painter Carl Manfred, who died recently. The FBI raided an abandoned freighter in Detroit at 10.45 p.m. yesterday. Thousand androids were destroyed or captured. Our forces are now combing the streets to ensure that none got through the net. We are going to find them one by one and destroy them. The Army has set up temporary camps in most major cities to gather and destroy androids. So far, camps have been installed in Los Angeles, Chicago, whiskey, Denver, Houston, Boston, San Francisco, and of course, Detroit. President Warren announced today that android collection and destruction operations were fully underway, but that it will take at least a week to eliminate the current generation of machines. CyberLife issued a statement today saying that it is working closely with the authorities in order to round up and destroy all androids across the country. They also announced an internal investigation to identify the malfunction and to prevent any such incidents in the future. Elijah Kamsky, you're the founder of CyberLife and foremost expert on androids. Though you left CyberLife years ago, you've just been reappointed as CEO in the wake of the dramatic events in Detroit. How do you feel about what happened there? Clearly what happened in Detroit was a tragedy. Artificial intelligence is a wonderful tool, provided it can be controlled. Fortunately, CyberLife managed to quickly produce a solution to the deviant problem. Under my management, we'll take every precaution to prevent such a thing from ever happening again. Can you assure us that androids no longer pose a threat? Absolutely. There was an incident, but we've learned from our mistakes. And we can assure you that androids will remain exactly what they were designed to be, obedient and efficient machines. How do you respond to those who point out the social impact of androids, especially in terms of unemployment? Well, of course, that's absurd. We heard the same objections when the steam engine first appeared. Nobody today would dream of living without electricity. Who wants to turn their back on progress? Some are questioning whether androids have become a new intelligence and that we destroyed them without listening to their message. How do you respond to that? Cyberlife's androids imitate life to perfection, but they'll never be alive. I understand that some people may be fooled, but they're only an imitation, nothing else. Mr. Kamsky, thank you very much. You're welcome. Connor, I'm so glad to see you. The deviant issue has finally been resolved. Now with these unfortunate events behind us, Cyberlife can return to business as usual. Of course, we will have to rebuild our customers' trust, but it's only a matter of time. I have a surprise for you. This is the new RK-900. Faster. Stronger. More resilient. And equipped with the latest technologies. The State Department just ordered 200,000 units. What is going to happen to me? You've become obsolete. You'll be deactivated. You can go now.
Just set it down on the table over there. 